What up, Avi Talkers? G Walker, Europe travel coach here, and I've got some news to you. To you, for you, ah, whatever. So, I'm go I decided to share every single week what I've learned in uh, all different cities where I've traveled, and uh, this is to be Casablanca in uh, Morocco. I actually lived there uh, last year for one or two months, I can't quite remember, but it was an unbelievable experience. Me and my girlfriend uh, stayed there and we paid zero euros for accommodation but that's a story for another, another time and uh, I'm here to show you what the city has to offer how to get to know the locals and uh, most of all what I've learned in that city and uh, how did it change my life because every place where you, you've been to it should at least change your life a little bit Okay guys, so without further ado I'm going to tell you now some of the best things to do in Casablanca, some of the best things to see in Casablanca and what I've learned there and also secrets on how to meet people and save more money. So, one of the best things that you can do is see the Mosque Hassan II, I believe. It's a really, it's a really huge mosque that they have there uh, in Casablanca. You should also uh, do surf, basically, because surf uh, is something really big in Casablanca and almost every beach has a surf school they are really cheap and good so that's definitely something to check out even if you don't like surf or never tried before like it was our case we actually tried it and it was awesome it's a shame that the GoPro didn't record anything but we know it happened uh, another thing you should go to a yoga retreat or if the retreats are too expensive for you they probably are at least for me you should just uh, go to a yoga class or maybe go to a spa because uh, Casablanca is uh, also famous for having a lot, a lot of yoga places, spas, things to relax and do detox and what else. We were actually in a, in a yoga place ourselves and we tried yoga. I never tried it. It was cool for me. My girlfriend hated it, but uh, that's, that's really up to you and uh, we can't guess if you're going to like it or not. Either way, you also should uh, check out Morocco Mall, the third or second biggest one in, uh, in Africa, the biggest shopping mall. They have everything, they have a huge cinema. When we were there, it was just this week, that was uh, just the booting, so it was a really good movie. And uh, they have everything, they have really cheap things. They're not as ch the, the cheapest place in uh, Africa or in Morocco because it's the most touristical place in, uh, in Morocco, so you can expe expect to see the prices kind of up, but uh, not as up as Europe or America, but regarding Africa, they are kind of cheap, uh, kind of expens more expensive if you go to the mall, if you go near the beach, because they, it's in everywhere, it's like that, they just inflate the, the prices, but still it's very economical and uh, if you're traveling the world, and if you've been to Europe or America, believe me, Africa it's, it's cheap and even Casablanca is affordable, okay? So another thing you should do is you should just go and meet people. How are you going to do that? Uh, meanwhile, we were there, we obviously met some people from work and it was everything going okay. But then I, I wanted to play football because that's something I really like. So I asked the guy uh, where we were staying how to play football, how to, to get the people together, to know the places, how much was it. Then he introduced me to another guy from Morocco, from Morocco as well. So we formed a group with uh, 15 people, I believe, and we were all playing in, uh, in a, 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 special, a special field, whatever. And it was awesome and uh, uh, this was the time where Portugal had just been uh, European champions. So there was a lot of pressure on me and I can obviously say that they got really disappointed because I don't play <laughs> that good. But still it was very cool and I had a lot of fun with the guys and I still speak with, uh, with some of them right now. And uh, that's, that's just one thing that I, that I wanted to share. You can just ask people for advice, ask people how to get stuff, where to go. Because the locals are always the secret to, to get to know some place. And if I hadn't asked the other guy 
for uh, for advice on how to play football or who knows where the the field is or whose football sneakers do you you can borrow it was very cool uh, if I hadn't do uh, if I haven't done any of those stuff I would never be able to play football and I played for I don't know five four times and uh, it was very cool it was actually uh, more expensive than in Portugal but that's because the the field was new and it's uh, a place where there is still a lot of rehabilitation so they, they really up there the prices but it was very cool and I have no regrets and uh, still it's possible to find cheap stuff affordable places to eat to buy the um, the marketplaces in the street they have a lot of stuff but of course you can forget that you're a tourist so you can never pay full price for anything that's what they want to do but that's not because they want to rob you or trick you that's just the culture they they love to negotiate the the prices so that's one thing that you have to do another thing to meet more people they speak the most common language is arabic the second one is french and the third one is english my french is terrible it got us off uh, a problem in uh, in the bus station but it's really bad i haven't spoke french in uh, jamais so basically you have to have some kind of translation and if you don't trust someone or if you're not sure of how to say some word i strongly advise you to check out say i it's a translation app basically you just spoke spoke to speak to your phone with uh, with wi-fi or mobile data and uh, they translate to what you're saying into the language they want the, they want to understand or if they are speaking in arabic let's say to so your phone you get the translation or the strength the transcript in english spanish whatever language you want they have over 40 languages this was really helpful for me in morocco when i tried to speak arabic with someone and also in thailand because i didn't spoke a word of thai back then so it was really helpful so what have i learned in casablanca basically basically i've learned that you don't have to go anywhere with uh, misconceptions or stereotypes on your head because before going to Morocco everybody was saying oh they want to trick you they they just want to just want you to pay over price they really hate the foreigners that's all that's all I I can uh, uh, say that's all I like and uh, basically that's the culture and you have to dip in the culture and don't be afraid or scared or to suspect someone uh, in there you just have to go there and see that if you want to pay something you can negotiate that's obviously not a problem that's part of the culture if uh, they saying something to you that seems like a threat or they they try to provoke you they probably not okay because Arabic people <laughs> kind of speak in this more aggressive tone and uh, when we first got there uh, I was with my girlfriend and uh, they said something to me and I was like oh what it's, it's something about to go down or because the first days were just a new environment that's the that's what I'm trying to say and always be be cool never respect someone and uh, they're probably just asking you or saying hi or how are you or do you need help but in Arabic it seems like a lot more aggressive than it really is have I learned in Casablanca? Casablanca is an awesome place to go during the winter or the summer or wherever you want because the weather is always very good. Casablanca is one of the best places to go to do yoga if you're into it. It's also good to do surf, it's not as Portugal, but it's very cool as well. Another thing, it's possible to find friends or uh, cool people in Casablanca su such as in uh, in anywhere else with uh, it's very it's very easy to find people and to make friends in Casablanca in if you you have the right mindset if you don't suspect anyone if you don't have wrong stereotypes and you can do that without any issues I was able to do that in a couple of days and I'm sure you're able to do that or even more if uh, if you go with the right mindset and uh, basically that's a really cheap place to live not the Casablanca uh, as in comparing to to Morocco but Morocco itself because it's really cheap because you can find uh, like lunch for three euros 
or maybe stay in some place for 10 euros we didn't pay anything thank god but I know it's very cheap so if you're thinking to travel either to Portugal or from Portugal or maybe to visit Africa but you want to stay a little more close to, to Europe Casablanca in Morocco it's definitely some place that you should check out and they have amazing people, amazing traditions and the marketplace in the street are awesome you can find everything and, uh, and really good and cheap prices so I hope you do visit Casablanca because it's an awesome place and I know you're gonna meet a lot of great people and you're gonna have a blast there okay so you know take risks go travel G Walker out see you there